Guys, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. On the Buffalo. <laughs> you want to know what that is? You need to go listen to Gold right off the bat. Might be a little precursor there. But this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. This is a show where we talk about wrestling and mayhem. Uh, we got, I'm Sorg, of course, here in Pittsburgh, PA, in the Mayhem Studios. On a Buffalo. And this is probably going to be the most local show we've done in a while. Mad Mike is off on assignment for several months. Uh, in, in the Bronx, New York, and, uh, and the wrestle fan, and the wrestle fan is rediscovering himself in college in San Antonio. But with us tonight, <laughs> the, the mainstay, <laughs> the mainstay of the, of the wrestling mayhem show, the guy that's been there since the beginning, the guy down the south side in a cave with some white closet doors is a DJ lunchbox. I, I How, you you hey, How you doing? How you doing? What's up, hot dogs? Uh, this is DJ Lunchbox. I am on the south side, uh, soon to be uh, coming to you from the north side. Uh, and how, how am I going to get there? On a buffalo! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, this, this is too good. good. This is Shit too hurts, good. man. <laughs> and coming, at, coming to us from uh, wherever he is, is Hot Wheels. Where, how you doing? Wherever buffaloes are made. <laughs> wherever buffaloes are roaming. Hello? Hello? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> He's coming. <laughs> Something's happening on the Buffalo. We'll come back to him. Riz, Riz, here and now, uh, somewhere in the Pittsburgh area as well. I don't know where anybody lives anymore. Riz, how you doing? The need to know basis sword. Oh, I see. I see how it is. Witness protection. Witness protection. On a buffalo. <laughs> oh my god. And and coming to us from Johnstown, PA, is Bobby F. J. Town. How you doing tonight, sir? Pretty good. Uh, if you want to hear how I got angry at Attack of the Show this week, uh, subscribe to Gold. Either way, it the honor if it makes a cut. Hello. I, you should throw out for our Oregon, Portland, Oregon yes, fans. Yes. What do you have for, for them? Anybody, anybody viewing this in Portland, Oregon? I have two tickets to RaffleCon, which is this weekend, October 1st. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. If you want tickets, you can have them. For free. Tweet no him. travel expenses. <laughs> Tweet Bobby FJ. Excuse me, Bobby FJ Town, if you're interested in those. We'll give it to the first person that texts him, seriously. Yeah, just, I, I will. We're all in Pennsylvania, and we're too broke to just fly to Portland. Uh, can't so, do it. Can't do let it. me hop on my hey, private buffalo. It's not happening. Not on the buffalo. <laughs> um, and of course, on the couch, playing some Angry Birds. Actually, with the I was hat. reading the Riz Oh, hat. hi. hi. It's Chachi. Chachi says dot net. Chachi plays. Chachi talks about nonprofits. Chachi talks about things that make him giggle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, what's the new Tumblr project? Me giggle dot tumblr dot com. Um, <laughs> basically, is? basically, it's just a collection of stuff that makes me laugh. There you yeah, go, Buffalo. Yeah, very nice. I want a buffalo. And also, <laughs> also joining us. As always, the master of ceremonies, the man with wires for blood, ladies and gentlemen, our host, Sorgatron. Hey guys, oh, I'm buffalo. hi guys, I'm on a buffalo, <laughs> I'm rocking it, I am ready more than ever to do some mayhem this week, so let's get it started, of course guys, hey, we're at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, if you haven't come across us before, that's where you can find more information, including Mad Mike's TNA blogs, my review of Memphis Heat, the DVD, which will be out this month. Uh, in October, great guys. We talked to the director of that several episodes ago, back in July, I believe. Um, and what else is going? And any other stuff? Uh, Mad Mike's song from last week that we shared on uh, wrestling, uh, wrestling with WMS Gold. Of course, you can check it out with his special message to Matt Hardy. Uh, and of course, as I look for my other notes, we have. Uh, hey, you can contact us uh, on Twitter. Uh, at Mayhem Show. What? No, no. What? No, no, no. no. <laughs> you got faked out. You got faked out. It's all right. Uh, you can also email us at Good Times. Now I didn't even hear Riz that time. At Good Times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com or, uh, or call us on the phone, preferably when you're drunk at 412-206-WMS0-9670. Uh, and of course, if you want to support the show and have the mayhem in the palm of your hands, just like the Riz is doing, we have the WMS Gold app on Android and iPhone, iOS devices. You can see right there. The- 
coming a little fast for us to figure out what's going on. He's got it over there on his T-Mobile G2. Everybody's got it going on. Not not LB. Not LB. No, no. Oh, no. oh wait, 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 wait. Wheels has it on a big freaking tablet. <laughs> yes, I do. There it is. Super WMS Gold. So check it out. It's $1.99 course, Wheels has it on your Android uh, Apple Store. Well, that's because I'm uh, crippled. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> and if you haven't checked out the show before, he's in a cripple cart. Um, let's just put it out there for all the new people. That's your that's your primer if you're a new person. What the fuck? Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. LB looks so depressed because the phone broke that he had WMS gold on. Yeah. <laughs> sorry I about that. Your crash week. I have a very nice droid too. Uh, that. You know, the only thing it displays now is a big crack on the screen. So uh, I'm using an old no. BlackBerry. That does not have the WMS Gold app. No, but I'll tell you what does. Uh, my iPod. Yeah! yeah. It never me. ends. <laughs> Didn't you have a giant iPhone before? That's in the living room. Yeah. Oh. It's getting ready to be it's moved. On, and it's on so. that, too. It's on that, too. Um, yeah, it's bigger than mine. Guys, like I said, we're looking for people that want to get in like these crazy cats have, you know, all fans of the show, except for that guy. So um, <laughs> please uh, uh, email us at goodtimesatwrestlingmayhemshow.com if you're interested in that. We are talking with a couple of people, and hopefully we see a few new faces on the air very, very soon. Stickers, we got them. Send a sassy to... That's a Get self That's a, No, 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 no! That's a self-addressed stamped <laughs> envelope to Dummy MS stickers, care of Sorotron Media... 1535 Velasco Avenue, Pittsburgh, PA, 15216. Uh, as, you know, the stickers have been getting around lately, guys. Uh, as, as you can see from the pictures here, the ladies love the stickers. Uh, I believe that's, uh, Sh- Shell from, uh, Berg's Eye View sporting it at a recent party right there. Yeah, and then we got it. I saw it. I. <laughs> 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 okay. Hey, man, great nipple covers. And that's getting shared with her. Uh, and we also got another one from uh, from Brian. I, I believe this is our fellow from uh, from Florida that received stickers from uh, leaving an iTunes comment. Yes, we send them out, and they went out last week. This is the greatest picture ever, guys. Check this out. He is so excited to have stickers. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I got stickers. Your crash so week. Fluffy. That is your crash week in Florida. So All he did. And that, that's, that offer still stands. The next four people that leave comments on iTunes and send me an email, uh, I will send stickers to you. I will just straight up send you a buttload of stickers. And as you can see from this uh, picture, the- I sent a good bit of stickers. <laughs> as much as I can stand, sit in, uh, fit in an envelope goes to you, and you can just stick stuff. Just stick them all it's over the place. The furthest south we know someone. <laughs> that's what well, I don't know. Corpus Christi is pretty far south. Okay, but, if you ever see a sword more. live, and Florida you is America's flag. What, wait, what's that, <laughs> Wheels? I said, if you see sword live, ask him for stickers. He'll give you a buttload even more. If they're in my bag, they'll be in your face. Is it? You a, can is stick it, them on a buffalo. Is it a measured? <laughs> is it a measured buttload or just an? It's estimated? kind of like an arm's length. Like, like, like. Yeah, well, just my arm, arm or your. Arm. It's my is it, arm. Is that the correct term for that me- uh, measurement? A butt buttload. A buttload. I have not loaded yes. my butt with stickers to test that. And, Me either. And I, thank Jeebus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to try that. Tremendous. Well, anyways, as we always do, we start off the show listening to your fans. You guys guide the conversation uh, for what we do. And then hopefully we don't end up oh, talking about buffaloes all, 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 all evening. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey hey i also want to throw a shout out to our friends over at wrestlingrevolution.com uh right. according to this they're the fastest growing internet wrestling community on the web discussion is discuss wrestling 24 7 with passion to fans just like you all companies from wb tna roh and wrestling from mexico uh they're at wrestling revolution the Res- wrestling revolution.com i've been spending some time over on their message board and it's pretty cool and they post our shows uh so i want to give them nice. a shout out and we're going to nice. be hopefully talking about and with them a little bit more here in the oh, near future buffalo. so uh so yeah we'll get into that hey guys i threw a i threw a question out there and i want to get your impressions real quick too buffalo. um earlier this week because i know you know, of course, Ring of Honor Wrestling uh, is on TV. Uh, <coughs> I happened to come across it the other night and noticed that they have, much like the other promotions, they have a $60 a year uh, on-demand 
uh, situation going on on their website uh, for Ring of Honor. And, of course, TNA has theirs, and WWE has their classics on demand, which I think are about $50 uh, for each of those. So I put the question out there. If you had that $50, $60 on hand and you said, I'm going to go spend it on something like this, which of the three promotions would you pick? Uh, Brian B. on on Facebook hit, said WWE because uh, they own more content. Uh, and, of course, Paco, Papa Silo said WWE, I'd use the spare change on tacos. Um, so <laughs> I, I was curious, I, you know, just a real quick around the horn. If you had to pick something, what would you pick? Uh, LB, let's go with you first. Um, it, that's kind of hard because I've, I've seen some of the older uh, Ring of Honor stuff. And holy shit, man, that's ridiculously awesome wrestling mm -hmm. but the wwe has the nostalgia factor so it's rough I i'd probably have to go with wwe okay okay bobby i'd go with wwe too um just based on ecw wcw w old school wwf you know that i i think i would go with that one okay riz uh i'm with them i'm wwe it's it, it's kind of hard to pick between roh and wwe but WWE does have that nostalgia factor. Just, there's more to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about you, Wheels? Wheels is still gone. Uh, Joshy, what would you pick between the three? Wheels is Do you really have time. to ask me that question? That's true. <laughs> oh, wait, he's trying to come through. We're going to try to recall him. Oh, this computer's going... I bet she's doing a virus scan or something. Holy hell. We're going to restart his computer. Yeah, you don't have Holy to ask hell. me that question. They don't have to ask you that question. So it's pretty unanimous, WWE. Uh, Tachi's TNA all the way. Tachi's TNA all the way. <laughs> Woo, TNA! <laughs> all right, they right. who shall not be named! Apparently the question completely <laughs> broke this computer, and I had to shut it off hard way. <laughs> Oh, and we'll geez. get wheels back on here as soon as yeah, we can. Go Kurt Angle. Um, and also, hey, you know, I got, <laughs> got an email from AJ. Uh, ROH is on the Pittsburgh Saturdays at 5 p.m. and Sunday nights at 11.30 p.m., a.k.a. right now. Uh, now, I got to see it. Riz, I know you got to see some of it. Yep. And anybody else I get, get an email, a chance? So I got to see some of it. Oh, it's in your email? Should we wait for your email? I was sleeping. Yes. Okay, we'll wait for your email. I was yeah. communing with Jesus. <laughs> it's on 11.30 p.m., Oh, I was asleep. <laughs> okay. I you, cut it at 5 on Saturday. You weren't talking to me. <laughs> what? I called myself Jesus. Oh, oh yeah. On a buffalo. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> All right. Buffalo well, let's Jesus. go ahead. <laughs> And of course, if you have any comments on any of this stuff or you have any take on it that's different, uh, please hit us up on any of that stuff we talked about at the top of the show. We'd like to hear from you guys. Uh, Chachi, I believe there's a Riz mail. Yeah. I believe Windows just started. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, so windows. Hello, Windows. Yes, there's a Riz mail. Tell us what is up in the Riz mail. First off, Riz, you are a lying son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. What? I... All right. Oh, because I said. Uh... <laughs> Wait for it. Okay. All okay. Right. And I move. I move the mic away for the intro. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I think we'll all appreciate that. WMS. Yay. Hey. Quick email time! There is no Would You Rather today. Today... Oh, I love Would You since Rather. Since we have determined that Ring of Honor as an indie fed over for the time being, and since Chachi doesn't like to read anything about in the indie scene, I would like to discuss the debut of Ring of Honor. Okay. When it was announced that Ring of Honor was going to be on the My Networks in a wide market, there have been some speculation on how good the product is going to look on television. I, even before seeing the show, said that this this will be the new number two. He removes behind, the hat. He yeah, removes the hat. Behind WWE hat in a few oh, years. However, there was much more of an indie-ish feel to the production of the Ring of Honor television program. Pros. They showed long, awesome wrestling clips from the eye pay-per-view, the Eddie Edwards Davy Richards match from the promos looked bloody awesome, but I will get to that in just a second. They have good wrestling when they show it. Kings of Wrestling versus Wrestling's Greatest Tag Team was a good main event for the first show. KW, aka friend of the show Kevin Kelly, and Nigel McGuinness calling the matches. They sit on track with the match and didn't get off it into story mode all too much like WWE and TNA tend to do. Did you say KW? No. Okay. I said K-double. Okay. 
this back. That's Kevin Kelly, thank you. That's what Kevin I said. Lilly. Yes. Okay. I'm just clarifying. Apparently. <laughs> Alright, let me Am let I? me let me move the mic back again. Okay. Cans! <laughs> 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 That's how it's written. All right, all right. <laughs> Wrestling- I do give you props for that, Chachi. <laughs> Wrestling slash commercial ratio. The show was one hour long, and yet there were three matches. See my second pro now that you read my first con. Production. I told Sorg that this when I was watching it. I don't know if it was my network TV's crappy service or if ROH arenas aren't lit properly to handle television as there were times where the picture looked splotchy and foggy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The show, that they showed long, awesome wrestling clips from the IP pay-per-view a lot. A once, lot. maybe twice. Mm-hmm. That would be good enough. Just don't shove the DVD down our throats. If we want to buy a DVD that has good wrestling, we'll buy a DVD with good wrestling. Overall, it was an okay debut. Nothing to shock mastery about, about it. No, no. It looked original ECW-ish, but with better wrestling when they got to the wrestling. Until next time, this was a good filler for me not being prepped for a would-you-rather Riz. You know, I, I yeah, I watched it. Um, it's definitely, okay, it doesn't, uh, the, the picture isn't as clean as you saw in HDNet, but that was HDNet doing the production. Uh, I had a big problem with uh, the, the, the cameras didn't seem to match in color. Between inside and outside the ring seemed to be a major problem. Um, which did, yes, make it feel like an indie show. But like I said, but it, but one thing I think was the difference was you had more of the feel of a Ring of Honor show more than HDNet because HDNet just felt so sterilized <laughs> in the end of it. Um, it, 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 are you on the same page, Riz? Yeah, that's pretty much the summary of what I said. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it, it, I think I think it'll do fine for what it is. You know, being it's on like uh, like on the night. So. Some, I have a five. would you rather Ch- from the chat room. Ch- Chachi has a would you rather from the <gasps> chat room. Yes. Oh, someone someone took Riz and said fuck what you say <laughs> and gave us a uh, <laughs> what would you rather. Yeah. All right. Uh, would you rather have ROH stay small and indie ish? Or go to a larger WWE-ish scale over time. Ooh, yeah. He well, says, and then he comes in and says he thinks small. Yes. He, he likes it as a small. And thing. we'll start with Sorg. And C Zero Two K uh, says smaller. Um, you know what? You know they've been smaller, and and you're seeing what's happening. How many people just got signed by the WWE? The ROH Ring of mm-hmm. Honor is as much as they say we are the place for people to prove themselves. Yes, it's a place for people to prove themselves and then get signed by somebody bigger. Mm-hmm. And that true. has been the it's case. And it's completely the case, and you'll always be that. Ring of Honor is not the destination. It's the where you end up as the best alternative when you don't get into WWE, or you get let go of WWE, like the world's greatest tag team, who are great, who are amazing, but that's where you... Okay, how am I going to say this without pissing off? No, I'm just going to piss everybody off this way. Ring of Honor is where you go when you have all the skill in the world and no mic skills. Okay. I mean, okay. is that pretty fair? I mean, yeah, I mean, I, 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 Sean true. Benjamin couldn't get a character over to save his life in WWE. Uh, Charlie Haas, probably just as good, but they are, I will watch them wrestle day and night every day. And that's what Ring of Honor is, and that's why they belong in Ring of Honor. Well, your um, craps leak says that, uh, not always true, Sorg. Some people aspire to be in ROH and don't want to be in WWE. Okay, okay. But because it's, it's people uh, don't have to worry about money. It's it's uh yeah, and, then, and that's the, then you could say well really there's just because they don't. And then the like wolf comes WWE. back and says, "Be real, everyone wants to be in the WWE." Yeah, that is yeah. true. Everybody, I mean, how many people? How many people went from Ring of Honor and they're in WWE now? And they're like, I mean, Daniel Bryan, CM Punk. They're like, yeah, I've always wanted to be in WWE. Right. I don't care what I said over there. I always wanted to be in WWE. Everybody, um, everybody grew up mm, on WWE. Mm. They want to be in WWE. Don't let everybody fool you. If you're you you can't regardless of what you think WWE is when you get up there, or maybe they get discouraged when they get up there and see what it is, or they're not not everybody's compatible for what they're doing up there for how they develop stuff. Everybody grew up on WWE if they're a wrestling fan and they want to be part of it in some capacity. Riz, um, like this is a pretty 
loaded question <laughs> because is it talking about uh, like just wrestling per se, or is it talking about production? No, it's about, talking about like, two angles and like. Oh, I'm, I'm, the, I'm guessing it's talking about production and uh, popularity. <laughs> um, and I'd say put it right in the middle. Like, don't do as much as WWE does. Focus on the wrestling. And then you'll have a good product. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we got we got wheels back. Wheels, I, I trust you've been listening. Uh, I think yes, we, I have. There you are. What What do you think about this? Honestly, I agree that honestly, production wise, I agree with you, Sorg. It does remind me of like the indies and stuff like that, mm -hmm. which I kind of like in a way because I love the indies because of more wrestling and less storyline. Yeah. So. Yeah. When watching it, I was like, all right, definitely a better alternative than the other two. Okay. So, I mean, I'd definitely stick with smaller. Okay. Uh, right, um, Bobby. Yeah, Bobby. I, I would actually like to see them compete with WWE. Okay. And pass TNA. It's a different product. It's a different product. Yeah, it, 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 it's it, a different product, yeah. But I would just like to see them pass TNA because TNA is just a joke. <laughs> It, it okay. is. <laughs> yeah. LB? I have no words. I, I, you know what? I have to agree. I'd like to see them get big like WWE, if only because I'd like to see what a wrestling promotion could do when it gets that big and isn't like a, um, isn't a WCW zombie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, Chachi, what are your thoughts? I, I want to see it get bigger. Yeah? Well, yeah. I mean, imagine, okay. I mean, that wrestling. But with more production, right on the scale, like, yeah. on the mill. Like what I if have they were on Spike no TV? problem watching indie wrestling. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have no problem watching it mm -hmm. as long as the production is there, and it doesn't have to be WWE scale production. No. The what I want, okay, I want wrestlers to come out a ramp. <laughs> All right, no, not okay, uh, okay, yeah, no, no, go ahead, go like, ahead. Like, because even small indie feds have ramps. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't want them to walk through a tarp. <laughs> <laughs> Buy a black fucking cart curtain, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. And Ring of Honor has been good about that. All right, and uh, from Riz's description from the email, because I didn't watch ROH this weekend, it will be available to everybody the Thursday after it airs on on the website. Okay, but I did I didn't watch it. All right. But if it's splotchy and dark, I don't want to watch it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but as far as the would you rather goes, I would love to see them get bigger. Because y you, you're right. It, it's the place where everyone goes before they take the leap to WWE. Are you, what are you laughing at? I'm, I'm, I'm going to follow up with the chat room here. Okay. But, um, it's the place everyone goes before they go to WWE. Mm -hmm. And, that's the equivalent of them showing college and pro football on TV. Mm -hmm. And even college football has a high production value when it comes to being shown on TV. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, I see where you're going with that. I, I see where you're going with that. From the chat room. There, there's, there's a little fire in the chat room <laughs> over this right now. <laughs> Shane Amazing says, Ninja, please, if you don't want to be in WWE, you ain't good enough. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's hey, one is amazing, say, uh, says you eventually need to pay the bills, YCW, to, to your craft's week, of course. Um, let's see. There's something else. Sorry, lost my spot because somebody. <laughs> uh, WWE's grown to the point that wrestling is a sideline to launch movies, etc. from, uh, Song Screwdriver 3. Uh, wrestling is wrestling. Um, uh, Song Screwdriver says it's lost its focus. I, I, I imagine talking about, uh, WWE. Uh, ROH deserves to get bigger. It needs to get bigger. Shane Amazing. Uh, as long as it's not CZW 1999 with one camera the whole show. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there were three cameras. There's a camera on each side. I mean, they're not going to be able to afford the, you know, six cameras that WWE does every, every no, show. No, that's fine. But, but I think that what you're getting at is you've seen so many crap indies where the bad camera work gets in the middle, gets in the way of enjoying the show. Right. And I've seen that. When the hard cam guy can't even keep the camera straight, I won't name any names. Uh, I, I don't want to I mean, watch. That's the problem, and I get pissed off. I spent fifteen bucks on this thing. I don't want to watch a, a DVD of cage matches mm -hmm. from fifteen feet away. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. You can't see. Yeah, yeah, exactly. People like a lot of people doing these indies. 
don't understand that. Luckily, you're looking at something like Ring of Honor. They have guys like Jim Cornette and all those guys that know what the fuck they're doing. Right. So I mean, just I, buy some lights, <laughs> guys. But <buy>, but <laughs> seriously, but <laughs> seriously, it. buy a light. Buy seriously, buy buy, buy a, a light or two. Yeah. Buy buy, buy some spotlights. You know how I like this place? Ten dollar lights at Walmart. Exactly. That's what's lighting this right now. <laughs> buy some spotlights, um, yo. Exactly. Spotlights, yo. Yeah. <laughs> if you if if you have a TV deal and you can afford to pay these wrestlers and a, a three camera setup, mm-hmm. hang mm-hmm. some fucking spotlights from and, the ceiling. And here's something to direct you. ROH will never have WWE production because the production comes from the feeling of the big venues and shit. That's kind no, of no, 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 that's not, no, no, that's not what you're talking about. No. But I, that's but that's the problem. TNA has good production. You but, can't deny. But shitty they, wrestling and <laughs> shitty yeah, storyline. The story, yeah. I mean, it's the, it's the, it's I want what's both. going on. And I know that's a lot to ask. Yeah, yeah. But I want both. But we're not talking about size. We're no. talking about it, it needs to be presented better. Yes. And you they need to buy fancy that. chandeliers like this. <laughs> what, 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 what's that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That, that actually reminds me of, uh, of, uh, AIW. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, you ever see the AIW ones where there's a giant chandelier yeah, in, the, in the ceiling fans the when they jump off? I, I, you know, I, AIW, they do great shit up there, but I'm sorry, that's funny to watch. But I mean, I'm not saying that every wrestling, uh, wrestling federation needs to be in giant to, venues. Yeah, I don't need them to be in only, arenas. The, only WWE can do that right now. I, I buy buy some spotlights, get some motion cameras, and pay people. To use them, who are trained to use them. Don't have your grandma go stand by ringside and shake the camera the whole show. You're doing a great job, Sonny. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm no, not. Grandma, you're, 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 I know. A little shaky. I, I know. No, that's your camera. Very shaky. <laughs> I I know that there's not a Fed out there that will be able to reproduce. WWE's production yeah. value. Yeah. And they're pretty much... Uh, At least J- not for a very long yeah, time. Yeah, that's what they're saying in the chat. When Jehovah, no <laughs> one's going to compete with WWE anytime soon. I, uh, But I think there's a lot of room for people to be alternatives. I'm not know? asking for much. No. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I'm not asking for much. Yeah, yeah. I want a good wrestling product and something that I don't get pissed off at watching because mm-hmm. the lighting's bad or the camera's crooked, or the tripod is 15 feet away from the fucking cage <laughs> for the entire Sonic DVD. Sonic Screwdriver says, no, well, what, what the hell did you low? watch? What the hell did you watch? Yeah. I- I'll tell you after the show. Okay. Well, it wasn't one of mine, is it? <laughs> no, you. It, it was before you. Actually, funny thing is, it was funny, before you. Funny thing is, I, I have. A, there might be a show that's going to be exactly that that I'm going to be involved in. <laughs> It was be- <laughs> this one was before you. On a but yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'll say it now if you if you want me to. Okay, I, I don't it, care. It's IWC's Cage Fury, like the original Cage Fury. The DVD. It was one camera. One camera. Wow. Fifteen. Wow. It, I mean, it was probably closer than fifteen feet away. Yeah, yeah. Chachi was Chachi was watching oh. uh, Cinemax lesbian prison videos. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Caged man. women in heat. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, on a, bu- it's, 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 on a buffalo, <laughs> it's bad. Yeah, yeah, and of course their production's gone a lot better. Yeah, but I, they don't do two cameras on every. And I, you know, I've been I've been openly critical about that. You know, but uh, you know, and, and and you know, other promotions have have stepped up and said, no, we're going to do real production. You know, when they're you know maybe not as good as IWC, but they're looking a lot better than it right now, so and they have something better to present online. Uh, but that's a whole other argument that yes. we keep getting back to. Uh, there's a, and it's still going on this in the on a buffalo. You guys, you guys are all about this. Um, anyways, Cracker Jack League, TNA is a retirement center for wrestlers. Think WCW, but shittier. Uh, from Shane Amazing, uh, and Sonic Screwdriver. No story beats crappy stories. TNA could just announce wrestlers ring the bell and it would work better. What they have. Yeah, it, it does. <laughs> it could. Yeah. Uh, uh, YCW says, I, I see, I'm, I'm trying to get call your YCW in there. Uh, Smart Mark Video has improved significantly over the past 10 years or so. Um, I haven't seen Smart Mark specifically stuff other than, well, they do, um, Chikara, I think. Um, so, I mean, that, that's all I'm, I'm, I, I know I'm asked. Um, 
You know, if you guys yeah. want to send me DVDs that you think have good production <laughs> value, yeah, man, send them along. Send, yeah, them, send them to the same address that the stickers are. I'll, I'll watch them and send them back to you. Or no, or no, but seriously, no, like no YouTube's or that. anything like that. There's plenty of stuff online. Hey, hey, t- I, here's a challenge to you guys. Here's a challenge to you guys out there. Send us videos of indie wrestling that will make Chachi change his tune. Yeah. What is he missing out there? Make me watch indie wrestling. That is a good Make me you. want to watch indie wrestling. And and you know what? And I'll, and I'll give and you murders. this. I'll give you this. If you send something to Chachi that improves the shit out of him, <laughs> I'll send you stickers. No, we'll send you a fucking prize. <laughs> Chachi, kidnapping and, <laughs> <laughs> kidna- kidnappings and murders aren't enough? Yeah, I mean, well, you can have... Just gonna have... <laughs> <laughs> no, ki- no kidnappings and murders. That's no, not here, how you do it. Here, here, here. <laughs> uh, we'll send you the triumph and tragedy <laughs> of world-class championship wrestling. <laughs> um... <laughs> It's still sealed too. That's it like, is. It's a it's brand like new a, DVD. It's a set, isn't it? Yeah. If you it's... send us something good, we'll send you something crappy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a two disc DVD set that's never been opened. Of wrestling from Texas. Uh, the, not the, the, tickets to you know, it's it's the one about the Von Erics and everything that WWE. We'll put send out you tickets to Rafflecon too. Aren't you moving? I'm reading the chat room. <laughs> Uh, YCW yeah, says, "Yeah, we'll throw in the ruffle talk on tickets. <laughs> Why not?" <laughs> What's up in there? Uh, YCW said that he'll send me a couple burn DVDs. <laughs> Shane Amazing says Ninja Turtles is for the first movie is greater than that DVD. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I don't know. Yeah. I haven't watched it. It's still sealed. I, we just, yeah. it was in the prize pack. So, Fine. Uh, you know what? I'll give you your choice because we have two DVDs down here. <laughs> All right, uh, we have two. The other one? We have two DVDs down here. If you send me indie wrestling that makes me want to watch more indie wrestling, you have your choice. You can have the Triumph and Tragedy World Class Championship Wrestling two disc unopened DVD set. All right. Or I'm really afraid what you're gonna pull out. Slammiversary. <laughs> what, yeah. what year is that? I don't know. <laughs> this is the one. Um, At least we gave you a choice. Thanks, coughing up a hairball on the cover of that one. Uh, <laughs> 2006. 2006. All right. Yeah, 2006. They might have been still good. What's the main event yeah. on that one? Um, bet you it's Sting. Uh, yeah, it's a, uh, it's Christian Sting, Jeff Jarrett, Abyss, and the Truth for the NWA World Heavyweight Title. Is that, that is it King of the rough. Mountain? King of the Mountain. Yeah. Oh, listen, with you the get penalty box. You get a pre-show match. Of the Naturals versus Team Canada. Okay. X Division ranking match. It's Alex Shelley, Sensei, uh, Shark Boy, Jay like- Lethal, Sanjay Dutt, and Petey Williams. Okay. All right, that sounds pretty goddamn awesome. Uh, yeah, handicap yeah. revenge match. The War Machine Rhino, the Canadian Forcer. Stole my tricycle. Uh, Bingo Hall Brawl. You get, uh, Team 3D versus the James Gang. Challenge match. <laughs> Chris Sabin versus Kevin Nash. And the NWA World Tag Team title match, America's Most Wanted versus AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels. Oh, man. This, this, this so, awesome. yes. Somebody, you get your pick. Somebody wants to send you 2000 th- Thunder episodes. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Um, okay, we got two more emails we need to get to. Holy crap. Uh, hey, uh, LB? Yes, sir. Hey, oh, you're off the bat, sir. <laughs> <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, before, wait, I gotta get the music ready. Before, so. Hold on, wait. Before we go to the, the other emails, um, send me links at two. Good times. Good times. At wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Yes, yes. And he'll, and, and Chachi will selectively select you are welcome, the Chachi. winner. So it's impressed Chachi time. We're, we're past the sending him DVDs in the mail. Uh, but if you want to put a DVD in an envelope, I guess that'll work. Yeah. Right? Nef- I mean, I can't Netflix it does it all cracked. the time. Netflix does it all the time. Yeah. Just no, 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 no. Quickster. <laughs> Quickster. Quickster. I'm sorry. Watch the Quickster. awesome cast to learn more about that one. Hey, Quickster. <sighs> K Quickster. Hey, <laughs> <K> Quickster. <laughs> all right. Yes, the truth. Mr. Mr. LB, <laughs> I'm getting your music queued up here. Here it goes. I'm and excited. You... Y'all ready for Nas? Queens Bridge, y'all oh, ready to see Oh, I know what time it is. Uh, uh-huh. You ready? Yeah. What? All right, LB, give us this week's email. <clears throat> what it is, WMS crew? Wait, 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 wait. Title of the email is... Fuck what you say! 
No, no, no. 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 Aww. I'm a little phlegmy, so you have to bear with me. Man. The email is Jeebus make my dick hard. <laughs> <laughs> what it is, WMS crew. It's been a while since I've been allowed on this show. I hope this one gets on since the last email I sent did not. Wait, no, I have that I have that email queued up by the way. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I don't know. I don't know why my last email was fired un- filed under "fuck you, Negro." But I ain't got all day to unravel the blatant conspiracy that has consumed the Wrestling Mayhem show. Instead, we're gonna take on and impregnate the divas with some. Wait for it. Ideas. Uh, I fucked that up. Ideas. <laughs> Conspiracy. Instead, <laughs> we're gonna take on and impregnate the divas with some ideas. Wait for it. And my dick. And if you don't like it, fuck what you say. Smackdown and Raw were good. Eve's new look is banging hell, even my dick agreed. But other than the usual, nothing really stood out this week in wrestling. So instead of emailing nothing, I decided to go a different route. Tonight, the amazing wolf will talk about the much-hated Divas Division. Ever since Mickey James left the WWE, the Divas Division died off in the perspective of people caring about the Divas. I know someone is going to say, uh, sorry, Negro, but what about Kelly Kelly? To you, I say, fuck what you say. Kelly is popular, but nowhere as popular as Mickey was. Look at the last few Mickey James matches in WWE, and Kelly's last few matches in the crowd is dead, till Kelly wins her match while Mickey, who the fans respected, had the crowd into the match. Not to say Mickey was the end-all be-all of the Divas, but she certainly had the last Diva crowd in the (laughs) match-wise. It's all right. You can make it through. You can make it through. (laughs) Is the reason the Divas suck because there are too many models trying to be wrestler? Uh, I'd say... uh, I'd say is a minor reason because... WWE always has had models that transitioned into Divas. Mm. The real reason the Divas suck ass is because they have become recognized as a complete joke and a waste of our time. Not by the fans, because we see Divas as the TNA of the night, but by the almighty WWE. You know the ship is sunk when your own company doesn't believe in you. At a time right now where the knockouts are proven to be resourceful, the Divas aren't even given the same chance. The knockouts are given a de- It's alright. Oh, it's alright. Just take a breath. Just take a breath. The knockouts are given a decent amount of time to wrestle, and all are in a storyline. Hell, I go on to say that Impact Wrestling's most competent storylines involve knockouts. Up north, the Divas are given short matches, and most of them don't see any TV time or a- even a storyline. WWE uses about four divas at a time, and most still don't get over. Other other than Kelly, Beth, and Natty, the rest of the divas have no allegiance with the fans. Vince, you need to see that a stronger divas division is necessary and profitable. The divas are already more sexy, thanks to WWE, WWE relaxing on that PG bullshit. All the divas just need now are more TV time and more storylines. Hey Vince, if you feel like certain bitches can't wrestle for shit, make those bimbos valets. Bring back big titty managers. Then again, what the fuck do I know? I'm just a horny ass ninja from Brooklyn, New York. And if you don't like it, if you like it, fuck what you say. That's right, and he leaves us some pictures. He lives the whole kinds of pictures, actually. I gotta, I gotta read this one thing. It's, it's absolutely incredible. It's about Rugrats, okay? Okay, yeah, yeah. It's, it's an image, too. It's all text, but it's an image. Wow. It's phenomenal. Uh, the babies in Rugrats don't exist in our products of a Angelica's imagination because her mother ignores her and her relationship with her follow is shallow and parasitic. In reality, Chucky died along with his mother, which is why Chaz is such a nervous wreck. Tommy was a stillborn, which causes Stu to sit in the basement making toys for his son that never had a chance to live, and the DeVilles had an abortion. Uh. Angelica couldn't decide whether the unborn child would be male or female, and thus simply invented the same character in her head 
twice with different genders. Holy, Holy hell. shit. That's wow. a heavy, that's that a is, heavy shit. That is a mind <laughs> fuck. <laughs> wow. I'm glad sad I never watched now. Oh, man, that's on Netflix. I need to watch that. Um, <laughs> I, I don't want to watch that anymore. Dear Dave, tell your girlfriend, your wife, and kids, say hi. P.S. I cleaned out bank. You're broke. Love, Nikki and Kids. Written on the back of I, uh, I, I forwarded you, I forwarded Will, or Lunchbox, I'm sorry. LB. Okay. Will. Will Lunchbox. LB, I, I forwarded you, uh, the Wolf's email from last week. This one's pretty short. You want me to read it? Uh, do I have to play the same music? No. Don't worry about the music. <laughs> All right, let's do it. it what, for some reason, they got what, caught in the spam filter. What it is, WMS crew, I've been pondering some things. Number one, when is a ninja going to get some love in the info section of the show? Number two, what classic console should I force my homie Sorg to pull out? Hey, Sorg, <laughs> ninja in New York, want to see some fucking Sega? Preferably the Sega Dreamcast. You had the Super Nintendo before. Where the fuck is the Dreamcast, ninja? Show us the last console to have a decent fucking Sonic game, Sorg. Prove me wrong, Sorg. And if you don't like it, fuck what you say. <laughs> WWE 12 is looking to be a great game, but how was Raw, you ask? Raw was good last night, but let's talk about Natty first. Natalia looked great on Raw. Even my dick agreed. It was like, damn, Ninja. Natty's dressed for multiple impregnations. <clears throat> but, that, <laughs> but that other bitch was terrible. What's her name? Eve. Yeah, that diva botch fest. That Latina... That diva is a botch fest. That Latina is as green as baby shit. Someone please stop punishing Mr. Perfect and allow his son to be a Hennig and kick some ass in the ring. That didn't do this. <laughs> that didn't do this to Cody, Ted Jr., or Randy. Fuck WWE and give Mr. Perfect some reason to watch WWE in heaven. CM Punk Nash Triple H is fucking gold, if I may say so. If I were WWE, I'd make Nash and Triple H feud with each other, and then in the end, Triple H turns on Punk, and the Clique Corporation goes against CM Punk and some upcoming talent. WWE beginning with CM Punk is a winning format, but months from now, it better change. Our truth and is are exactly what Raw needs, more attitude. The less generic and basic the superstars sound, the better the stars sound and look. I always feel that the wrestlers are <clears throat> that are compelling are the ones <clears throat> are the more often just over exaggerated caricatures of themselves. Punk Miz, Christian, and Orton are great examples of wrestlers that are great and yet still unique amongst each other. Then again, what the fuck do I know? I'm just a big dick ninja from Crown Heights, Brooklyn, New York. And if you don't like it, fuck what you say. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. I would you. just like to, uh, to address the wolf. Okay. Yeah. When you, when you start complaining about not getting any love on the show, Remember who has your back. That's right. That's right. I didn't see it. I honestly did I not see it. I have no I idea why. I did the why. work for that one. I have no idea why we didn't see it last, last I week. I did the work for that one. Well, I mean, of course, everything was weird because of PodCamp, but, uh, you know, sometimes they slip through the cracks. But you let us know for sure. Yep. Mad Mike has got some email. I got this back. He's got some email. He's got some email. Remember these days when Mad Mike used to read st or send in the emails? Howdy, Mayhemers. It's that guy who's working on so his emails are back. But I really just want one of you to say, aw, shucky, kudaki, quack, quack. It's mad, <laughs> gosh, it's mad <laughs> goddamn quack, quack. Okay, since my thoughts on TNA are now being summarized in a nice, neat, easy-to-read blog on WrestlingMayhemShow.com, cheap pop, uh, I think my ducky. emails will mostly be WWE-related since I'm watching Raw on a time delay now because of work. <laughs> Uh, SmackDown was pretty interesting this week. It seems like the feud with Kali and Jinder is already done and on behalf of the entire world. I like to say, who the fuck is Jinder Mahal? Uh, WWE.com, <laughs> Daniel Bryan interview about Dos Carreras. Dos Carreras. Fuck. Situation is really good. And if you guys haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend it. I also imagine that these types of interviews are being done more now for the, uh, w for when the WWE does their version of Sports Center on the new network. I really hope Henry keeps the belt past Hell in a Cell. The show felt a lot fresher with the new champion. And I think a Sheamus Henry title feud, uh, would be tremendous. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cody really got busted up badly on, on SmackDown. Uh, wow. You, uh, know it's bad when the, uh, oil on Orton's to torso is replaced with the other guy's blood. 
<laughs> Zach getting a call from you, Jackman, was fantastic. The opening promo on Raw was really great, even though Trips had the most awkward WWWYKI ever. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. You know it. You know it. Uh, those staples in, uh, in uh, Cody's hair head look really bad. No wonder he didn't really wrestle in the Battle Royal. Uh, and he's got a lot of other stuff I can't go into. It. It's just long. It's long. Uh, one final thing before I head out. I was a lot of buffalo. I was a buffalo. I was following <laughs> what I saw on TNA. Not their uh, normal poor quality of actual product, but the fact that they were now using matches from different shows and piecing them together. I just think that if you are uh, doing things like this, you really should stop talking about yourself as anything other than an indie fed, but only because they aren't calling attention to it. When ECW did it back in the day, they didn't treat their fans like idiots, and they said exactly when and where each match was uh, from. TNA, you don't have so have many people left watching your horrible product, so try and at least respect their intelligence of those that still do. White Alchemist, ending transmission. P.S. Fuck you, Riz. 3-0, motherfucker. And he called you an ass bag. Yeah, I was going to say. He called me an ass bag. He called you an ass bag. Because <laughs> I didn't finish his email. Yes. It was a lot of email, and we're already running way too long. Um, yeah, he said that his first I'm week sorry, away, and you won't even read I'm his sorry. whole email. No, I'm putting my foot down. Ass bag. I'm putting my foot down. On a buffalo? We gave, on a, I'm putting my foot down on a <laughs> buffalo, man. And we, I mean, shit, you know, we had to give the time. We had to give the time to the WTFs. Swords kicking and kicking up. I don't know what the, the fuck really is. That, the you thing with the, the fuck, music and the black the fuck guy. What you say? Uh, yeah, that one. That one. That's F W Y S. I, I don't. There's too many letters going. F W Y S. There's far, far too many letters going right now for me. On a bubble. On a bubble. Is it break time? Hey, we got an indie minute. There's a video submitted. Boo. Or is this last week's? This is last week's. I have an A O N report. We have an A O N report. What is going on in A O N, sir? This week, oh, the, oh, A1, oh, oh. Uh, the big focus was on the Tag Team Championship okay. and the controversy surrounding it. What? As you know, a uh, special oh, friend God. of the show, uh, Manchild, is one half of the Tag Team Champions with um, Ryan Fear. Ryan Fear could not get discharged from the Insane Asylum, so he couldn't compete in the match <laughs> to defend the Tag Team Championship. So Manchild had to tag with the other member of the Psychotic Assassins, Psycho Fusion. Uh, and and f- they had to face ISP and a mystery partner of his choosing. To start the night, I- ISP came to the ring and said if Bam Bam Hassel wanted to be a member of the operation, he had to take out Psycho Fusion before the night started. And so that brought Psycho Fusion to the ring. Uh, and they started their match. Uh, Bam beat Psycho Fusion. But that wasn't good enough. And... ISP kicked, uh, Crescent kicked Bam Bam in the face. They're, 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 thereby ending his, uh, uh, reign, or his, uh, time in the, uh, cartel slash operation. Okay. Uh, then the medical staff said that, uh, Psycho Fusion wa- was unable to compete due to medical reasons. So the tag team title match became a, a singles match between ISP and Manchild for the tag team championship. Okay. Well, that match got started. It was a pretty good match. Uh, Kess Edison got in- involved, and then Psycho Fusion came out from the back. Psycho Fusion turned on Manchild, no. thus giving oh, ISP no. the tag team championships with his new partner, Psycho Fusion. And newest member of the operation. So we have new tag champs. It's a sad day for Manchild. Not cool. It's okay, he, Manchild. I he lost the belt by himself. And that's the AON report for this too. week. There you go. And we actually have no other indie news, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Ring of Honor got upgraded to TV status, so uh, it's not indie <laughs> anymore. So. Yeah. We don't really talk about it here. So, yeah, uh, one has two TV shows. Yeah, that's right. Two of them. <laughs> one of them on the same network. No, that's actually, it's not the same network. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so here's, uh, th- thanks for that, Bobby. And, uh, here's a little, uh, look at what we're featuring this week on Wrestling Mayhem Show Gold. We're having a little stop- story time with Bobby. We'll be right back. Uh, Wrestling Buffalo. Mayhem Show. Buffalo hopped off the stretch of his leg. I, I like the far away shot. 
Scream uh, close up. There. Uh, oh, I like that. Uh, it takes place in Portland, Oregon. <laughs> this weekend. <laughs> with no travel expenses. <laughs> That's fun. Hey guys, welcome back. Wrestling Mayhem Show. This week, I know this is the point where we usually do our... Remember when... But this week, there's something else that came up in the news uh, that was passed along thanks to our friends over at Mikey and Big Bob over at the Freak Show at the Kiss FM locally. Uh, there was a pretty interesting video that came up. I want to share this with you guys. I know it's going to be just audio. We'll kind of try to describe it for everybody else. But I was locally here on Channel 11 WPXI in the Pittsburgh area. And and it's it's pretty tremendous. It's pretty tremendous. Let me see if I can get this queued up in full screen for you guys. And, uh, and, and here you go. I to run home watching this dealer game last night when a total stranger, shirtless and bleeding, kicked in their front door and began attacking George. He said, I'm going to kill you, son of a bitch. The 74-year-old and his wife were terrified and knew they had to fight to stay alive. I started like screaming that. and yelling for him to get off of him. I reversed him and pulled him down. It's exactly like this. Right. And I had him oh, in a headlock. Oh, there's a skid mark. And I had him in a headlock. And uh, every time he tried to get up, I just went boom. As the struggle continued, <laughs> Anita called 911, then picked up this statue. I was trying to. <laughs> They're demonstrating the entire <laughs> wrestling <laughs> fight they had with this intruder. <laughs> it's it's, it's tremendous. Returning from a wedding reception, when Hampton police say he, he was so dope. drunk, his she friends kicked well him out. I mean, but yeah, but that's that's basically the gist of it. They, this guy, they were demonstrating the wrestling match they had with this intruder. So this week. Ladies and gentlemen, our lesson for you, the Wrestling Mayhem Show lesson, is that don't fuck with those people. <laughs> <laughs> is that wrestling saves lives, just like this gentleman right here. Wrestling not and only we found saves an angry grandpa. <laughs> That's right. What's that, Josh? Wrestling not only saves lives, and we can't show this clip because YouTube will pull us. But wrestling also helps with male bonding. Why is that? This week's episode of the Cleveland Show, yes, yes. Ric Flair had his, uh, I forget what he called it, but it was something male <laughs> nature bonding. Nature Boys, Nature <laughs> Male Bonding <laughs> Experience. Yes. Tremendous. <laughs> and actually, YouTube can't pull us because we're going to play the clip from YouTube. <laughs> and there, there it is right there. YouTube there's no section. audio. Oh, never mind. There's no audio. That's just pictures of yeah. it. But it was pretty oh, tremendous. The, well, you figure. The whole thing is, woo! Woo! Yeah, it is. No, yeah. that's not a lie. That's exactly yeah, yeah, that's what exactly it was. Exactly what it is. Like he's he an... started talking normally, and then eventually it was just him wooing, and Peter would translate. He's an expert on divorces, <laughs> male bonding, and other stuff. Yeah, <laughs> but the and best part that, is that other clip. But reminds you to change your underwear. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and the best part is everyone that goes on the male bonding trip gets a blonde wig. No, no, no. <laughs> Chachi does not. Yes, they do. <laughs> Touchy does not spoon with me during Raw. I don't. Maybe SmackDown. Who was that oh. then? <laughs> Who was that? I, I spooned That's what happens with, when you turn the lights out. I was out. very uncomfortable, uh -huh. Touchy. Yeah. I spooned with Friday someone. Friday night spoon down. God damn it. All right, guys. Who did I spoon with? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I was very It was a buffalo. Was it Riz? I, I spooned with Riz. I think that was you. Oh shit! All right, guys, let's time to, let's check in with our affiliate. We we got, of course, we have been sponsored on the show a lot t a long time with Audible dot com, your place for audio books because we don't like words on the Wrestling Mayhem show. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Reading words. is fundamental. <laughs> Fuck the words. Fuck you, uh, but no, seriously, this is the greatest when you're like, uh, uh, you know, bit you're busy, you 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 don't have time to sit down and read a book every night, every day, everything like that. Um, and you just, you just want to get a little bit more out of it. Uh, this, you can try it free to see if it's for you for 14 days and you get one choice of an audio, audio book to, to scope that out. And we like to give you a little bit of a, a choice on that, but you can go to audiblepodcast.com slash Sorgatron Media for this offer for the free audio book, 14 day trial. And if you do that, it supports the Wrestling Mayhem show so we can do this so we can improve the show as much right. as we can. And, and you know all what? That stuff. And listen what? to anything by R.A. R. A. Salvatore. Anything by R.A. Salvatore? Anything. You know, I'll go with that. Like, you, you want that to be the pick of the week? Yep. Now, R.A. Salvatore, who is R.A. Salvatore? R.A. Salvatore is a science fiction fantasy writer um he does star trek books i just scratched my nuts on the show <laughs> that's definitely <laughs> a wise wasn't even the crotch can <laughs> they all, all should hey, salvatore 
No? That's what I said. Okay. No, I... He was also a wrestler in the WWE. But, so no. <laughs> but uh, but uh, no, no, he, him he writes too uh, much. He writes science fiction fantasy novels. Mm-hmm. Um he mm-hmm. does some Star Wars some has, Star Wars, yeah, Star Wars, some Wars Star Trek. Yep. Um my favorite of his series is the Dark Earth. The Dark uh the Dark Elf Elf okay. series. Okay. But it's all it's like thirteen they books have, with the same characters. They have a lot. They they yeah. have twenty five books with of his. Yeah, so they're all good. Also, he's writing that new video game that's coming out next year, I think. Uh, Reckoning. Yes, the, the Sil- Kingdoms of Amalur. Is it the Simmerillion? Cim- no, no. Actually, no. That's, that's Tolkien. That's huh. Tolkien. Yeah. Interesting. Um, I don't know if the Dark Elves is on this, but the they Dark do have Elf trilogy. They do have a lot of uh, of Salvatore yeah. on here, so go check that out. You can pick any of these books. Chachi approved. All of them. Sorgatron Media. Or, I'm sorry. Because I've read every single you one have. of them. Yeah. AudiblePodcast.com. Physical books in my hand. Wrestling Mayhem Show. Like if you I'm were sorry. to. Sorry. Fucking hang. AudiblePodcast.com slash Sorgatron Media to get your free book. And support the mayhem. If you were to uh, go look at my uh, my bookshelf, ninety five percent of it mm-hmm. are a Salvatore. That's true. I remember <laughs> I saw you with those books a whole yes. lot. Hey guys, I got something that probably should have went in the indie minute. Uh, I saw, saw a Facebook notice by friend of the show, uh, Michael the Bomber Facade, uh, where he's he's involved with something that I think is a new Fed. It's the UWF, the Urban Wrestling Federation. Uh, now, I, this is completely new to me. I, I, I think this is something, you know, for people who want to look into it. I don't know if anybody in the chat room has heard of this before. <laughs> I kind of want to watch it. But this. it's, it's very, <laughs> now here's what you do. You go under this. Hey, I'll zoom in a little bit for you video people. Uh, the UWF crews, apparently their roster is broken down into gangs. Into, into wow. uh, oh, regions, regions and gangs. Homicides <laughs> part of the Bro- Uncle Murda wow. in Brooklyn, New Uncle York. Uh, uh, let's see. We got. I wonder if they kidna- have kidnappings and murders. Scorpio <laughs> Sky is part of Briscoe and Opa Loca, Florida. Ricky Reyes is part of the Cuban Link crew. Um, <laughs> facade. The only it, one there. Facade yeah. is part of the Red Cafe Mel Mel, Mel Bronx, New York. Um, Ruckus is part of the big block in Atlanta, Georgia. I, this is, uh, wow. this is pretty tremendous. They're having, I think they're having an online pay-per-view. Uh, here's a little bit of video from it, uh, that they have on their front page. Do we have audio? And I think. Like this. You got low life Order news, now. Right? Hood Justice. NYC. This is on pay-per-view. Television one. pay-per-view right now, apparently. Federation has put the street. So like I said, this is, uh. Low life Louie. And it is, it, it's just, it's like, oh, not yo, bad looking wrestling shit. either. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 25 million chair shots. It was but, uh, chain, yo. Yo, it was at least he wasn't low life. Yeah, they're saying. Yo, then, but before you knew it, next Uncle Murder and them New York goons, they Uncle rolled into Murder. the click. Then you got brisk. <laughs> Uh, let's see what else we got here. There you go. That looked like that was facade flipping up there. Um, no, that is facade. There he is. Wow. Wow. This looks like fun. So there you go. Friend of the show facade is actually on pay per view right now. And wait, wait for it. That's not bad production. No, it's not bad at all. Wait a minute. There's homicide in there. There you go. Did I win the prize? No. Did I just win the prize? No. <laughs> no, no. Oh, I want I want them to send, send me one. links. To send, what and do? there's there's a link yeah. in the uh the email already. Is there? Is yeah. that oh is that what that is? Okay. Ill nades. Okay. Ill nades. As soon as so- I'd say email me something. He's dude, on it. Dude is fucking He's on, on it. He's on it. So you can't do be the first to email me because Elnays yeah. will win every yes. damn time. Yes. That's so, right. <laughs> thankfully, we, we can't do the, the in the order thing anymore. Um, <laughs> but I am if you put iTunes comments on, by the way. Um, but, but yeah, go check that out. It's at, um, urbanwrestlingfederation.com. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, it's something different. That's what I'm talking about. Why we love Chikara. It's something different. Who does this? You know? They do. Uh, they, these, yeah. The Urban uh, Wrestling Federation with their Hood Justice pay-per-view that is, uh, <laughs> that was September 25th, 
uh, on pay per view at 8 p.m. Uh, so, well, well, that's a premiere. This is one of those. I, no, this is one of those like Dragon Gate and everything. It's not a live event like we expect from TNA and WWE. It's one of those where it's pre taped, it's edited together, and they put it out. It'll probably be on for like a month on pay per view. So I'm sure you can you can get it either way that I, way. I thought the main event was going to be Carl Urban versus Keith Urban. <laughs> <What's> oh. <that>? <laughs> <laughs> the Urban Wrestling I'd Federation. Money, I'd see that. I'd pay good money for that. And I'm not surprised <laughs> that Shane Amazing is all about this. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, hey, yo, check that out. And seriously, if you do, anybody gets the pay per view. I don't have cable myself, uh, but if anybody gets a chance, please let us know how it is, because I, I, I'm really, really cool. <laughs> but it's, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not reading that part. Um. What else is going on out there? <laughs> Speaking of pay-per-views, TNA Bound for Glory is in a couple weeks. And this was interesting. Uh, they're uh, kind of doing something that harkens back to WrestleMania 1, guys. Because they have no fresh ideas. Um, you ever been, you guys ever been to the theater and you've seen um, those commercials for, like, I can go watch an opera at the theater? I saw, I saw the yeah. actual TNA ad this weekend. Now, I oh, there was an ad in, in the theater for it? It, it, it was on the, the thing. Uh, what? What? The the what? Uh, during Moneyball the TNA ad came up. Nice. Not during the movie, yeah. but yeah, yeah, it was a pre-roll. That's it. So, so I mean, they have yeah. some marketing going on there at least. But uh, but yeah, they're going to be shown in um, I think a hundred theaters across the country, including excuse me, right here in Pittsburgh. <laughs> um, but it's going to be live on you know a, in the theater on uh on Sunday October um sixteenth. So they got a list right here. It's uh, via Screen Vision, ScreenVision.com, and I guess you can look it up for TNA Bound for Glory. I got a link somewhere. Um, so I mean, what it's is- a, it's a different way to experience it from the ones I've checked out locally. It's um, it's going to be fourteen ninety five to attend this event. So- Why does Sting look like he ate chocolate pudding? Yeah, he does. He probably does. did. He does. He does. He does. He that's that's an unfortunate. He probably rubbed it on that's an unfortunate too. coloration. Part of buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> he is a mess. Okay. Okay. But uh, I don't know. What do you guys think about this? Is this is this a route they should go? I mean, do you think they'll they'll do better for it with Discovery and people checking it out? Nope. Nope. No. Nope. Bad idea. No. Nope. Moving on. It's something different though. <laughs> I can completely see. agree, people... but I might actually go look and see it. No, you won't. Well, yeah, let's, let's put it this I way. Might, people will go... Probably won't. I'm sorry, what's People that? will go to the theaters on Sunday Okay. and go, oh, let's see, I could watch Real Steel or TNA. Hmm, I'm going to watch Real Steel. You know what, though? If you think about it, for $15 a ticket, I'm like, well, that's a little steep to go watch the show. But if you look at it in the context of a movie theater, it's not bad. That's three yeah. hours for a live event versus how much do you pay for a movie that will probably suck in 3D? Plus, how much are you paying for pay per view, too? If two of you go, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Because it, it's still $30 for their pay per views? Maybe? But, um, I don't know. It, it's interesting. It's a different take on it. Um, it says people will be too ashamed to go to the theater. It says YC, <laughs> it's YCW. Uh, WWE in a movie theater, it's okay, but expensive as shit. Well, is WWE doing that these de- these days, Tiro? Um, what if as long as your job says maybe if it's in 3D? <laughs> That's there you go. Bound for Glory in 3D. Interesting. So, um, place, I hope they're not <laughs> listening. I don't. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Speaking of people that we think might be listening, uh, LB, you actually came across this and uh, sent in a pretty uh, good report on it, dude. They're fucking WWE is listening to us. <laughs> <laughs> now, what was the news, and where? T- 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 tell us the source of this news. <clears throat> well, let me um, let me bring it up specifically. I don't want to get any facts wrong. The source was uh, uh, Dave Meltzer, WrestlingObserver dot com. Uh, it's one of the sites I go for wrestling news. And mm-hmm. uh, where the fuck did you put that? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's down in the news and roundtable. It's in the news and roundtable. God damn it, Sorg. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't. I can't find anything. Phil. 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 Well, basically, they sent a survey around. They fe- they sent. There it is. Oh, there he is. There it is. All the buffalo. 
Um, okay. Uh, apparently, WWE sent a survey question, um, and this is this is a quote. This is what the survey said: Imagine a 24-hour cable news network that was run by the WWE. It features a mix of WWE-made programs, including new shows, repeats of Raw and SmackDown from USA and Sci-Fi, and classic or historical programs featuring shows from different promotions like classic WWE footage, WCW, ECW, NWA, AWA, etc. from years past. It would have two new weekly WWE live in-ring shows, in parentheses, wrestling, but not SmackDown or Raw. It would have a daily live in-studio viewer interactive show similar to SportsCat, SportsCenter. Or like Bite This. (laughs) Or Bite This. Uh, Okay. This is the part that I felt was interesting. Um, Additionally, this network would include WWE's classic Big Four pay-per-view events, including Summer or WrestleMania, SummerSlam, uh, Survivor Series, and Royal Rumble to the lineup at no additional cost. Rather than having to pay for them, they would now be specials with the same match quality you're used to seeing on pay-per-view for no additional cost. Uh, hold on one second here. Well, the uh, the results of the survey must have been really good. Mm-hmm. Because during Raw last night, they showed a commercial for the WWE channel and said on the WWE channel that those four pay-per-views would be on the channel. Now, the, but they also yeah. showed mm-hmm. the King of the Ring, so I'm thinking that's referring to classics being on there. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I'm thinking. They're saying, they're saying um, uh, how interested would you be in upgrading your service for an additional 7 to $12 per month? To a tier. Uh, to a tier, which would include WWE Network... Um, uh, let's see here. NFL Network, NBA TV, Biography Channel, Fox Business, and, and Fuel TV. I already have right, that here. Yeah, that's, that's the yeah. thing. That's the thing. If you're already, like, subscribed to that, you're getting this either way. Yes! It's yeah. not even a choice. Bring it yes. on, bitches! <laughs> and they also, uh, they mention... Uh, I will lock every other channel. <laughs> people, people go to watch TV on my, uh, go to watch cable on my TV. WWE Sorry, WWE. Channel. That's no. it. <laughs> Fuck what you say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fuck what you say. <laughs> like, you want to change the channel, you pay the bill. I'm watching WWE. I hope they just don't show cops over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's going to be WWE <laughs> cops. <laughs> Well, they do mention a, uh, Which will be show. classic. I'm sorry. It'll awesome. be classic channels or classic as, uh, instances of uh, security and police work in WWE programs. <laughs> That's going to be GTV. Oh, uh, Matt Hardy <laughs> jumps the fence. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, LB. I'm sorry they, to interrupt. They also mention. Um, in, a, in another survey, uh, concept show, it's a cooking show with Bess White, who is uh, the big show's wife, the, uh, and s- how crazy it is to cook for that. And you know what? Fun. I would watch it. I'd you know, watch wait, it too. Well, especially after like, this. It says, according Gee. to this, Bess is bodacious, beautiful, <laughs> and one big time cook. Hell yeah. <laughs> you take five turkeys, <laughs> fuse them together in a deep fryer. <laughs> well, first, is served. well, first, you have to uh, skin and bone a whole chicken and sew it to the, and sew it to the back <laughs> of the turkey. On a buffalo. Yeah. And then you stuff that inside of a full pig, which you then roast for three hours. Wheels, mm. Wheels, what do you think of this? Wheels? Wheels? I, oh, sorry. What do you think I of this? I was thinking about the food he was just talking about. <laughs> He's like, I, I was mesmerized by this concept. <laughs> yes. What the hell was that? Uh, my thoughts. Uh, honestly, I don't even have cable, so oh, okay. it sounds uh, good, but I'll probably be getting cable back, so it'd be exciting to watch wrestling 24 hours a day. I'm getting cable back. Especially the older stuff and yeah. just some of the new stuff. <laughs> yeah, no more, no more waiting for Monday night. What? what is that picture? Apparently, this is a her? picture of his wife. Uh, who put this in there? I can't, I can't who put this in there? Uh, YCW put that in there. Surprise <laughs> butt sex. What? <laughs> <laughs> from, the, from the big show. Uh, 15,000 uh, Chachi Awesome Points to Sonic Screwjob for changing his name in the middle of the show. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> <laughs> tremendous, tremendous. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, more than more and more that we hear about this WWE network, the more and more it, it sounds like the wrestling fans' wet dream. 
I mean, really. If, I mean, I, if I'm sitting on my couch and I can't find anything to watch, <laughs> you'll watch that some means wrestling. I can put on the WWE channel and most likely see something I want to watch. Because really, I mean, it's not like, I mean, it, it really shouldn't be, and I hope they don't do this, it shouldn't be like, I remember when I had G4 and I was excited to have G4, and it's like, okay, I get to watch this. Oh, they're playing the same episode of this over and over again. Oh, it's this one again. WWE has enough content already. There is no reason to repeat anything on that network for months. Right. Or it should literally be I tune in and it's something I haven't seen on this network. Yeah, seriously. I mean, they don't really, they're talking about, you know, it really, yes, they're going to have this feature content. Uh, something, how about forever, says YCW. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's about right. Uh, they make, yeah, they make new shit every week, almost every day, all the online stuff. Um, you know, plus how many libraries have they bought of weekly content? Mm-hmm. They, they, you know, they're gonna have their prime time slot that's gonna be, uh, you know, whatever superstars, you know, probably NXT, uh, the cooking show, the, the Matt Hardy cop show. Um, uh, and, 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 then, and then, then all you do is stuff the rest of that time, not with infomercials, although it is kind of an infomercial in the long run, but classic ECW, WWE Raw, Superstar, Shotgun Saturday Night, Jacked, uh, WCW Nitro, WCW Thunder. That can be your lineup every day from what? Midnight until about 3 p.m. Listen, because that's the time, and and people will watch that. You're talking to the guy <laughs> that used to go to the video store and rent pay per views on VHS yeah, that I'd too. already yeah. seen yeah. or borrowed them from you <laughs> just so I could watch them again. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I mean, See? we will do yeah. that, you know. And if you do that, and even I mean, this is such a huge opportunity for you to put like, here's all the ECW stuff, and now you're like, I want to buy all the ECW stuff, and you go buy all the ECW one night stands and the uh, extreme ma- extreme matches and the rise and fall. DVD and the book, mm-hmm. the stupid book that they put out, um, and, and all that stuff. Like, man, I was ECW was book. great, you know? I want to get more of this stuff. I mean, and everything, it turns around, it's another advertising platform for all the other shit they sell. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're all, and then plus you're spending an extra seven to twelve bucks on top of your already too heavy cable bill, Riz, <laughs> uh, and giving them money there. Yeah, and, and Mike just made up a good point. Yeah. What's that? WWE yeah. Network is the exact same plot as WWE Crush Hour. <laughs> oh my god. I, I just haven't right. thought about that. He's right. Hey, right you know, now. side point, I just noticed this the other day. I bought WWE Crush or the, the WWE Crush Hour not too long ago, like a couple months ago for like eight bucks, seven bucks, something like that. I'd happen to come up on Amazon in a listing the other day. You know how much it's going? What? You know what? How much? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you oh my know god, how... <laughs> something's happening with Chachi. You, you know how much Crush Hour is going for right now? $38 for the PlayStation wow. 2 on Amazon, new and used. Okay, Chachi, why the fuck are you cracking up? <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, Mad Mike said, grilling with Kane. Oh. That's, that's, that's what everybody's been, uh, you know, yes, yes, yes. Um, yes, I need to bring, oh wait, do you have Crush Hour? Do I need to bring Crush Hour? Do I need to bring Crush Hour on the Mega Bus, Mad Mike? Because we have, we should have a Crush Hour a thon. We should, we should stream playing Crush Hour on this channel. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll bring the PlayStation down here. We'll hook it up. We, there will be a special edition of the Wrestling Mayhem show. I'll, I'll play it was Crush. on GameCube? I'll play Crush Hour for two hours. Crush Hour. I don't know if it's worth playing for two I hours. Was on, I thought it was N64. I, I don't know. It's, it's, that is, I had it on Dreamcast. It's PlayStation 2. So, Dreamcast. I had it on Virtual shit. Boy. Wow, wow. He said Crush oh Hour was God, more fun Barbecue than I got. I got and Kane. It got credit for us as Shane Amazing. <laughs> OMG BBQ is going to be the name of the show. That's Mad Mike. Oh my God. Oh. I didn't know it was for, I mean, for the GameCube version. Wow, wow. Uh, well, that was the greatest, greatest show ever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey. the chat room's amazing tonight. Uh, ROH news. ROH wrestler's side job as a Chippendale featured by espn nice now i misread this but let me let me <laughs> let, let me let who me, did you think no, it hold was on, hold on let's tell the story first <laughs> uh, wait, wait, according to pro wrestling.net ring of honor wrestler kenny king's side job as a chippendale 
uh, is uh, featured on an ESPN page two article. Quote, I'm not in the G-strings and hairy chest and dollar bills, <laughs> King said. Uh, he went into... <laughs> <laughs> he thought it would be a great supplement to his income after he checked out a show once. He's not okay. wrong. The w- I the make w- a lot of money <laughs> stripping. <laughs> Quote, the women go crazy. It's every man's dream job. Uh, now, this is love it, man. Big now, giant cock sock. When I read this... Now when I, <laughs> when, Banana <laughs> hammock. Yeah. When, when I originally read this... Uh, when I originally read this in my RSS feed, uh, I unfortunately misread it instead of Kenny King... Kevin Kelly? K double. <laughs> Get those man boobs out, out there. Um, yeah, yeah. That, that oh threw God, me I off. pictured that. I, <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm like I'm like I met this guy in person and I just didn't figure him to be a Chippendales dancer. But I you know, it takes all types. Um but there you go. There you go. It's like Chris Farley trying out. <laughs> hey, maybe not that yeah. no. hey, Kevin uh, Kelly's an a good guy. Yeah. And I, know I feel less hey, slimy fat. now. Two uh, TV show ideas. <laughs> Two TV uh, Great Khali <laughs> teaches English as a second language. <laughs> That's why I was cracking up before. And uh, Dance Fever with Great Khali. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Anytime... Sticking it to the man with Mark Henry. It's a <laughs> talk show where he invites strong black male influences on. Oh, we need dude, co-host, they should, they co-hosted should totally by have uh, a... Uh, uh, remember fucking when Jesse Body the Ven- Jesse the Body Ventura had the conspiracy theory show? They should have one just like it, but with our truth. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, Shane Amazing Man Crush with Vince McMahon. Watching perspectives. Oh wow! Well, <laughs> Mad Mike says next week his email will be nothing but twenty item list of WWE Network show ideas. Please, if you're listening, give us some show ideas. This is the best shit ever. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? Anytime I need to smile, I just keep going back to this picture. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that should be our avatar for the show. Uh, undertaking, undertaking with Triple H. How to bury people. To bury people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Oh, what else we got here? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, man. WWE CM Punk. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, oh. Wait, what you did there? Oh. That that is worth negative five thousand. Talk to you awesome. Oh. Oh. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> now you owe me point five cents. <laughs> what? <laughs> he now owes owes me point five cents. All right, on that on that note, guys, let's uh, it's we gotta wrap this up before our heads explode. Um, I would just like to point out that we talked about no current wrestling of WWE. (laughs) No, we talked about Ring of Honor though. Yeah, and that was great. And what 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 is there to come up with uh, from Raw last night? Uh, the intro. That's it. The intro. (laughs) Yes, the intro. That's it. Okay, now now you had a, a pretty good analogy to this. Uh. About the, you're talking about the start of Raw. Yeah, yeah, okay. the start of Raw, that's it. Okay, explain. Uh, uh, the whole interaction between, um, 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 Triple H. Th- I know that one, the other one. <laughs> Cody, Cody Rhodes. Rhodes. <laughs> yes. Uh, between Triple H and Cody Rhodes, the whole, uh, I like to think of it as the whole, uh, Breakfast Club, uh, <laughs> study hall scene where he kept handing yeah. out detentions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that was the best part. Other than that, it was... It was good. I thought it was good. I thought it was another good Raw where there's a bunch of random stuff that happened that kind of made sense and I felt good for it. Right. So, uh, LB, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? Uh, I, what I learned from wrestling this week was that uh, Hugh Jackman makes me uh, question what I need as a man. What? Nice. <laughs> what? I know, listen, I know that's what I, I learned last, last week. week. The fact of the matter is, he's a very powerful influence. <laughs> on your life and, and everything? On, on, <laughs> oh, you don't even know, man. What? <sighs> on his life force. I have no idea where you're coming from on this. <laughs> okay, moving on. Bobby, what'd you like for wrestling this week? Hopefully I learned it's this less week creepy. that there is WWE has created a new monster. Fuck, you've been fucking they took in this whole fucking one time. part. They took one part Batista, one part Steve Blackman's personality, and formed Batiste Two, or Mason Batiste. Ryan. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
<laughs> that was and, and we and well we you know, the sequence last night where he came in and, and, and screwed over Vicky's group. Uh why why was that, Bobby? Oh, because he, he wanted to be broski the week. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wish he better be on the show. Riz! Uh, yes. oh, Riz, what did you learn from the wrestling I, and things this week? I learned that CM Punk is a great, a grateful man. Oh, yeah. For adding all of his fans to Google+. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see if I can bring up the Go profile ahead. here. Uh, I, if you don't know he, his real name by now, <laughs> he's not really too big on, on hiding it. Let me see if it comes up real quick here. Philip, there he is. That's Philip, what she said. Philip Brooks. Philip Brooks. Philip Brooks. Uh, there, there he is on Google Plus. Like, really? You think he's he's following a hundred and six people? That's a different one than I got. It's a different one than you got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 wait. You tell me Brooks. that's not really Philip Brooks. I don't know. You, <laughs> God, this is so. I <laughs> like so quote. I like this one so quote Phil uh with that promo that we've done and, 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 and it goes on. <laughs> um and most, of them, most of them refer to him in quotes. I'm so well, you know, pretty much my thing is if he's added me on Google Plus, it's probably not CM Punk. Right. And I think he would have a higher res picture of him of himself. Right. Here, here's um, someone I'm following. I'll I'll link it in the chat. What, what, this is a different one? Philip J. Yeah, it's, a, it's a different one. Kid Kong says Philip J. Brooks. Um, that uh, this is this is a great conspiracy. I, I don't know what to think anymore. <laughs> you're you're mm-hmm. just broken down. <laughs> you're you're like this is the greatest. Th- yeah. Hey, you know what? That's a more <laughs> that's a real picture. There you go. And yeah, he's that's... only following two people, which are uh, Maurice and somebody Indeed. named Toby Morse from uh, One Life. Yeah, one that's dance. the one I have. <laughs> no, uh, I, don't, I don't know. If he's only following two people, that's probably, one of them, that's probably one of them, him. Yeah, one of them's Maurice. Then the other unknown guy is probably the guy running the profile. Could be. I've Could learned be. that yeah. from uh, yeah. Twitter. Oh, yeah? I've learned that from Twitter. If you want to know who's running a fake account... The one other person yep. that looks like somebody you don't fucking know. Yeah, the one he, other he's... person that is not famous is the person that's running that account. Maybe I shouldn't follow him. I don't want him to touch my pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> Wheels, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Wow. <laughs> wow. What did I learn from wrestling this week? Uh, with a little bit of time, I think the number two company is definitely going to be Ring of Honor. Oh, bold prediction. After watching this weekend's uh, bold prediction show. Oh, I still have that as my prediction. I, even though I said it in my email, that's that's still my prediction. That's going to be number two of, of TNA. From the chat room, guys, Mad Mike learned that it took Wolverine to get Zack Ryder another championship match. Uh, what else we got here? And anybody else, if you have what you learned from this week, please put it in the chat room if you are around. Uh, Sonic Screwjob. Shit. I learned that no, Dolph Ziggler. Is so great. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Dolph Z- I learned that Dolph Ziggler not only had his jaw broken by Wolverine, but he stole his healing power to be ready to wrestle last night on Raw. <laughs> oh, his healing power. I said hearing. I'm sorry. Uh, I got a question for Wolf. <laughs> What's that? I got a. Is that like a to catch a predator? What? He, he touched my. He touched oh. my wee wee with Jerry Lawler. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why don't you have a seat and have some sweet tea? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, uh, Shachi, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? Two things. Aww. What? I know nothing. Go ahead. Uh, Cody Rhodes' <laughs> new name forever shall be Zipperhead. <laughs> <laughs> and if you invite CM Punk to announce at the announce table, you bet your sweet ass he's wearing a jacket. That's right. <laughs> yep. That's right. That's he's right. Fucking classy. Yeah, he's he came class. out last night wearing his wrestling boots and pads, his tights, a t-shirt, and a fucking jacket because that's the way CM Punk rolls. You know, um, and he flashed every one of us. Yeah. Well, he was hiding the t-shirt because everyone was yeah. up, and he came out with something new. What the hell is that? Uh, oh, don't worry about that. <laughs> That's the monitor nobody else can see. Oh, did we? Yeah, did we not? Med- oh, sword. Hey, what did you learn from us? I learned week? that you don't bring a diet Pepsi to the ringside because it's gonna get spilled. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was zero two Ks because that's what I was th- just thinking of. What? I didn't mention it all sh- all show. 
the what? Zero T- 2K learned that, that a table spot can cause you anal bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we didn't that now we were we were talking. Well, we were talking in the hangout. We missed it until we saw it all over Twitter. Yeah, what what happened with the anal bleeding? So uh, they were talking about Jerry not being there and him being out with an injury. And so Michael Cole explained to the audience that Jerry King has internal bruising, and he said, "And with all due respect, Jerry King." Jerry the King, shut up, Riz. It, but he has internal bruising. Larry King live! <laughs> and, with all due respect, anal bleeding. Oh, here it is. Mm. <laughs> I got the clip. What? You have the clip? Yeah. I have the clip. No, Mikey right, and Bob, right, the chat Mikey and yeah, Bob Mike had and a YouTube Bob clip oh, they had like to? that. They had to? Yes. Okay, okay. Put it in the, put in the chat. Uh, oh. Of course Mikey and Bob are on that. They're all over the anal bleeding. Uh, okay. what's got the- it. <laughs> You got it? I got it. Put it in the chat. In the meantime, this was sent by Mad Mike. This is apparently uh, the the uh, tickets on sale November 5th poster for WrestleMania uh, featuring John Cena and The Rock. It's a pretty cool poster. Nice, yeah. Pretty cool They poster. have elemental powers now. Yes, they do. <laughs> uh, and let me see if I can bring that It's YouTube better than the you. John Cena fire face. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. All right, let's see what we got. Information on Jerry the King Lawler that just came in a few moments ago. We understand that Jerry Lawler has bruised ribs, and, well, uh, with all due respect, he's also suffering from from anal bleeding. (laughs) 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 What? I think Booker T was about to drop another (laughs) N-word. You know what he should have looked at him and just said, "Tell me you didn't just say that." <laughs> but uh, you know what? Wow. I hope they all oh. got bonuses last <laughs> night because I swear to God, I can picture Michael Cole like getting to the arena, finding whoever wrote that, and going, "Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> you expect me to sit at the table?" And tell the world that Jerry the King Waller is suffering from <laughs> anal bleeding. You see GR, JR's reaction is like, my God, why am I fucking here? Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is worse than the Jerry Big Balboski pee pee cut off. Like, seriously. <laughs> Poor Jerry Waller, when he comes back, is going to have to deal with that the rest of his life. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously. Oh. I hope they fired that writer. <laughs> like, honestly, I hope that, I hope that person is gone. <laughs> Oh my oh god. You can't come up with something better than anal fucking so, bleeding. So I screwed up since no, someone had that teleprompter. It's, that's the point. That's what happened. I mean, Did it's gotta be a rip. The, it's gotta be. Did you uh, ever see tremendous. the cartoon Rejected? What's that? Did you ever see the cartoon Rejected? It's gonna no. be like that with that little puffy ball thing. <laughs> Hey, King, you're back. Hey, King, bleeding. you're back. How's your ass? That's why I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Trolls in the screen. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, man. Guys, hey, it's oh. it's been oh. a week. It's a Wrestling Mayhem Show. Chachi, you're over at ChachiSays.net. You got your new Tumblr blog. Yes. <laughs> Me giggle. <laughs> dot tumblr.com Tremendous. Anal bleeding. Hot Wheels, you're still doing stuff with RWA, RWA Live.com. Bloody Harvest yes, is your next show. You, He's the music guy. This guy's the, run, the one that runs the music when they walk out of a tarp. <laughs> no, actually, they got a pretty good setup there. So they have a <laughs> they have a logo that they built and everything. It's pretty cool. The light's up. So, uh, yep. Wheels, you got anything to add there? No zombies lately? Uh, No zombies, but it is a... Bloody Harvest tarp? type show next next Saturday. What, what, is, what the hell is going, going on? What's going on in the background? <laughs> Children screaming. What the fuck is going on? Riz, uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Riz's Twitter is at Riz IUP. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if he has anything what else going the on there. What the hell is going on? For? It's in the chat. <laughs> uh, Bobby FJ Town is at Bobby FJ Town. Hi. I'm st- I still got two tickets to uh, RaffleCon. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet him about that. Sweet him about that. And DJ Lunchbox, the big thoughtful riot.com project and forthcoming book on the paper dead trees. That's true. I, I made a, a big announcement uh, over on the thoughtful riot. Um, I will be posting until that goddamn book comes out. Um, By and, God. Uh, it- <laughs> what? By God, he will. 
I got, I got yeah, it. and uh, it's gonna be a while. <laughs> <laughs> I, talk, so. I talked to uh, to uh, Rachel about it, and holy crap, it's gonna be a little while. So uh, you, as the consumer, uh, reap the benefits of my hard work. And if he misses one, if he misses a day, give him hell. If he misses a day, give I'm, him not, hell. I'm not buying the book. Up. I'm not. There you go. There you oh, go. Shit. Yeah. You have. You now have. Uh, you have accountability, sir. Yeah, that's crazy incentive. <laughs> if, if you miss the, if you miss a day, uh, wait, are you counting weekends? Yes, I'm also blogging on weekends. If you miss a day, I'm not buying the book. Oh dear. Oh shit. Dear dear. <laughs> my goal is to p- post a blog every year, one one yearly, Good my job. annual blog. Good I've job. done it twice already this year. Good though, job. So. Good job. <laughs> He knows it. He knows dedication. And of course, yep. I'm Sorgatron, media.com, Sorgatron.com. Why do I have MikeSorg.com up here? I don't know. I don't know. You can I have no idea. Too. You can find me there too. There's me with a picture going like this. Um, <laughs> then there's Chachi. There he is. Guys, for the whole crew, there they all are. Fantastic chat room tonight. You guys can join us every Tuesday. You almost said Friday. You almost said Thursday. Every Tuesday, live 8.30 p.m. live.sorgatronmedia.com on a buffalo. Wrestlingmayhemshow.com at mayhemshow on Twitter. So you can email us at times at wrestlingmayhemshow.com 412-206-9670 Follow us on Facebook. Good times. Like us on Twitter. We're out. Buy the app. We're out of here. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait.